what's up guys welcome back for another dev pro duel video again across format tool um two different decks decks i didn't feature yet in these kind of videos across format tools uh the first deck used to see, yeah the first deck list you see here uh, might seem familiar um it's uh, the the exact same deck list from my uh, 6000 uh, subscriber special from uh one and a half a year ago uh, the deck is called Nimblefish, Nimblefish Spam, uh, yeah, whatever you can call it. Uh, the deck is based around the the, the, yeah, the one you see here, Nimble Angler, and when Angler is sent to the grave, you can special summon two Nimbles from your yeah from your deck. Um, and also, it triggers with a Swap. Uh, yeah, you cannot send the Angler from your deck to the grave, but you can discard it to special summon Swap, and then Angler triggers. Um, but yeah, the, the main focus of the deck is to get uh, yeah to set up your grave for uh, Mooling Glacia, set up for Obelisk and Light and Darkness Dragon, both uh, boss monsters of the deck, and also triple tidal, uh, very crazy in the deck. Uh, we also have the Everest, and of course, yeah, three enemy controller, the, the standard rank, two exceed plays. Um, yeah, it was pretty much, it, yeah, the, the deck wasn't highly competitive back then, back in 2013, but uh, it was, yeah, it was definitely a fun deck. I might give it a try uh, in today's format, uh, yeah, with, with uh, Darned Magician and so on in the extra. The, yeah, the second deck list you see here is called Windups. Windups again, very familiar. But uh, the main focus of this deck, of course, Shockmaster. Currently banned in the TCG, still legal in the OCG. But uh, I think we can call the, the Magician Shark uh, one of the most and yeah, degenerate uh, combos in this game. Uh, back then, the three uh, magicians, the three shark, uh, it was pretty much a two-card combo that la that leads you to a field of Pebble Operative, the, the rank 4 exceed, the, the Zen Mighty, and of course the Shock Master. With, with only two cards, you can lock out your opponent, as you will see in the duel. Um, this is Stefan Slois' deck list from YCS Barcelona back in 2012. He ended up top 4, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, at that wise yes um yeah anyway let's see some duels okay so the first game i'll of course be the one playing with the nimbles look at my hand i can set up a rank 2 x seed play i have the title in hand okay i can normal summon the swap maybe i should have normal summon swap um i think he has a warning set he definitely should have warning my swap swap is, is a key card it's one of the key cards in this deck next to angler of course uh, but yeah i can set up my treeborn and have a set uh, sunfish and yeah when sunfish is a struggle battle i can send one nimble from my deck to the grave and special summon another sunfish fish from my uh, deck so you can send the angler and special summon two nimbles from your deck which is very decent uh, it opens up rank 2 xc plays go for herald yes no response to get back an angler from my grave back to my deck which is also good to send uh, yeah the herald of course uh, to send one of your dead nimbles from your hand back to the deck to set up your angular place uh, get obelisk to the field uh, i think he has three outs uh, dark hole is obviously an out and double torrential uh, torrential when i uh, yeah when obviously not on obelisk summon since your opponent cannot respond no warning no bottomless no torrential but of course when he summons a monster on, on its own uh, you can make the standard uh, yeah the standard uh, magician shard play uh, i go for shining elf it didn't really matter uh, which exceed which rank 2 exceed play i made there uh, gachi was also a good choice um yeah he, yeah, he's not going to end with the standard field with Shockmaster and so on, but he's obviously going to stall, uh, waiting to draw into a Torrential or the Dark Hole. So Treeborn is special summoned again, made the standard enemy controller play. Uh, yeah, enemy controller just, yeah, he's just going to speed up the duel. And the Chaos is going to force out a warning, then activate Obelisk's effect to clear his field of the monsters. Then Main's effect activates. He needs to destroy a card in the field so he can destroy his useless warning. Uh, and yeah, I think he's going to scoop here. Yeah, not going to waste any more time, which is fine. Uh, then, of course, they always they always open with magician shark and it's it's a very standard play you can make first you go for the pebble operative and with the second magician you special summon your rat in defense from your deck and thanks to pepper operative you can uh, yeah, you can switch the attack from your uh, wind up red to attack and then activate the fact activate yeah to activate back to special summon the zen mighty and eventually you can go for the shock master lock and uh, normally you can call spells but he knows that i'm Pretty much, yeah, I'm not playing Dark Hole, I think. Uh, and yeah, he calls monsters, and uh, yeah, game over. I can't activate any monster effects. 
so it's no point to uh, continue the duel here. Uh, I can set up a first turn Mooling Glacia, so why not uh, rip two cards from his hand? Uh, obviously, I'm, I picked the, the, the worst card since he still has Magician Shark and Monster Reborn, but uh, I also have a Light and Darkness, so I get it on board immediately. Uh, next to Gachi, yeah, Gachi gives uh, Light and Darkness Dragon, uh, uh, yeah, of course, an extra attack boost, and thus it can negate one extra time, which is very important against windups. So no Magician Shark. Uh, so I win that duel because of that. Uh, then Mulma summon the swap. He decides to warning, uh, which should yeah, which normally is a good play. Uh, but yeah, unfortunately, unfortunately for him, I do have a second swap, so I can make a double Daigusto and attack for a game. Uh, special summon the yeah, the, of course the second Daigusto activates effect and special summon the title from the grave, which is more than enough. So attack with everything for game. Uh, very quick, yeah, his hand wasn't also uh, that great. Uh, then the next duel, I think uh, I could start again. Yeah, random duels. Set my sunfish. Yeah, the play I could have made was stream to special summon the title from my deck, discarding the angler and go for a catchy play with title on the field, for example. But seeing as I do have course, uh, I, I maybe next turn I can make a rank seven exceed play with course and title. Um, so that's why I decided to wait. Of course, he again opens up with Magician Shark, very degenerate, uh, again go for Shockmaster, calling monsters of course, so uh, yeah, Sunfish won't activate. Uh, so no Gorse, since I'm not able to activate it, draw, swap, my hand is very good, but yeah, the Shockmaster uh, is going to lock up the duel. Uh, yeah, nothing I can do about that. Uh, okay, so discard the uh, another title, activate title, and immediately special summon two Nimbles from my deck thanks to Angler and get Light and Darkness Dragon on board. Why not? He, of course, again has Magician Shark in hand, but that Light and Darkness Dragon is going to uh, negate it or, yeah, prevent that Magician Shark play. Uh, he's able to get over my Light and Darkness Dragon, which is not a big deal. Um, an option was here to special summon a title from the grave, so it would have bounced back to my hand. But then, uh, I did not have uh, five waters in my grave, so I would have been heavily dependent on my draw. Uh, if I would have drawn a water, it would, yeah, it, it would have been fine. But still, that's why I went for the Sunfish there. So, Mooling Glacia is hand, rip his hand apart, uh, deal some massive damage, and he's not able to recover from that. Uh, so, GG, the last tool. Yeah, very quickly, it's either uh, I OTK him or he yeah, Magician Sharks me pretty much. Uh, so, discard my Angler and yeah, send another Angler from my deck to the grave with uh, the title. So, go for a Herald play. And here I think, uh, I, yeah, well, I was able to go for a first turn Mooling Glacia play, but I think going for a first turn Obelisk was uh, much more important, was much better. So I foolish my Obelisk to the grave and uh, go for Harold to get it back. Uh, and then, yeah, get it on board immediately. And he, yeah, it seems he has no Dark Hole, he has no Torrential. So he, again, uh, of course, has Magician Shark play, why not? And ends with an Utopia. So that tells me he doesn't have any kind of uh, out at this moment for the Obelisk, so go for Mooling Glacia. Uh, reborn the title, I, go, I can go for a rank 4, uh, apologies, I go for a rank, four, uh, rank 7 XC play, big eye or whatever. Uh, but I activate uh, my Obelisk effect to clear the field, and uh, yeah, again, uh, not well, yeah, not wanting to waste time, he goes uh, yeah, pretty much in the scoop, hey, so GG, uh, a quick duel. But yeah, I think both decks uh, are focused on OTKs or establish a, a nice board that the opponent can't get over, like the Magician Shark play. Go for the standard uh, Shock Master Lock uh, compared to Nimble Fish with Light and Darkness Dragon. Mooling Glacia spam, uh, rip that hand apart from the opponent, or yeah, end with Obelisk. Um, but yeah, again, if you have any suggestions for these kind of uh, uh, cross-format tools, uh, leave them in the comment section down below. Uh, yeah, that's it. Guys, thanks for watching and feel free to leave a comment or a like if you enjoyed the video. Leave them signing out. Peace.